now my bank account overflow. Uh, my content is a one no be on the road. I can't bet for change, cause I'm worth a mil, yes I know. Uh, see you lame, I start off in lamb, audio. for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me and the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting line. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. All out there with Rozier, and it's Hayward in at the three. And for the Heat, Achua is out there with Adebayo. And there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Robinson, and it's Dragic in at the point. Ah! It'll be the heat off the tip. Outside Robinson. And the pass to Butler. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Zeller. Fast break now for Charlotte. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with Brooks. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Now here's Dragic. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Here's Washington, and then Washington with the dunk. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. The shot by Butler, nobody around. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. No good on the second free throw. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. Washington, that's good. Hayward outside. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. And here we go. It's Butler. Score 
of the basket. His second of two attempts. He's a tear in the open court. Butler can beat you with power or finesse. It doesn't matter. Here's Rozier. Nice spin off the left rim and in. The future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Miami. Reese Harkless comes in for Jimmy Butler. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Here's Bradley. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Don't kid yourself about Avery Bradley. He's thin, but he's surprisingly strong, and he's tough. Throws it up high, and the dunk by Biambo. He's an offensive-minded guard with limitless scoring potential. I think Tyler Hero will be a household name soon enough. The Heat have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. That's good from Hero. Good on both. And he dunks it down. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. And here's Bradley. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Over ball. The nine-footers on the mark. Here's Butler following the bucket by the Hornets. Robinson for three. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Robinson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Ball up top. It's blocked. Three on three. And slam dunk by Butler. Bridges kicks to Green. Lock at six. Ball with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Yep, it goes in. And the Miami lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Ball. Look at a Miami. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Three-pointer. Butler. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Butler's got seven points here in this quarter. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Rogic against Ball. Launches it. And another three for Charlotte. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. I saw you Time on call, the Heat. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching. Here's Ball. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Charlotte shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. good from ball Stop. Stop, boy. ball hits them both 41 seconds left in the first half passes to Bradley. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Bradley's got six points. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler, keeping his eyes up and his options open, delivers a great pass. For the Hornets, they come into this following a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. Bradley finds Leonard. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Passes it to Hero. And again, Miami with the triple. A knockdown three-point shooter. Tyler Hero knows he has the green light to fire. 
ball with it. 14 points for him. With two seconds left. And it's good on the way in. He's got 16. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And so it's the Miami Heat in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. And so it's Paul with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Eight-point game. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. All out there with Rozier. And it's Hayward in at the three. The small forward. It's good. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Outside ball. Back to Rogier. You know, winning that championship as you did great for UNLV. Many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, mm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, my I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what. I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah, got my legs taken out uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Robinson passes to Achua. Butler against Hayward. Now, here's Butler. Not a lot of room. And once Butler gets cooking, look out. His guys need to keep getting it to him. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Hayward finds ball. Rogic comes with the double team. Here's Zeller. Lays it up and banks it in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Miami leading by four. Now Drogic. Down low. Achua. And that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. Outside Butler. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Hornets trail by six. Here's Graham. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Hey, numbers don't lie. Catch and shoot equals high percentage. Gordon Haywood with a great look. Rogic dishes to Butler. Shoots from 14. They grab their own miss. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Autobio's got six. This is what they count on BAM for, ensuring the play gets finished. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. You look at Jimmy Buck. He's really been playing well. This guy is killing you, and so far I haven't. The Heat making a switch here. Nunn's checked in. And then for Charlotte, Diambo, he's checked in for Cody Zeller. Bridges comes in for P.J. Washington. And Martin subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Three-pointer, Martin buries the long-range jumper. Martin's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Outside Robinson. Martin against Butler. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Olenek, he's checked in for the Heat. Tyler Hero comes in for Duncan Robinson. He's not like a lot of superstars. Jimmy Butler will call you out if you're on his team. All he wants to do is win. Now here's Graham. He's guarded closely. Bridges passes to Biombo. Count that one. And now a chance to look at Jimmy Butler. Great showing for him last season. 
eighth in steals. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And like a thief in the night, he will pick your pocket clean. Top 10 in steals, as you said last year, always a threat to cause a turnover. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Bradley kicks to butt. The pass to Hero. Tries again. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. For Miami, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Hayward. Here's Washington. And Adebayo sends it back. The reach of Bam Adebayo is off the chart. Using it well with that block. Wonderful play with that long wingspan and huge hands. Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. against Bradley. Bradley on the double team to the inside. Hayward. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Six to shoot. Teardrop shot and the layup is good. Heroes got the lead up to 10 now for the Heat. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. The Hornets have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Leonard, he's checked in for Miami. That's good from Ball. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, you take it. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants it. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Let's listen in on what Eric Spolstra had to say to his team. Once we get the rebound... Get to those corners, race for it, okay? What you're doing right now is you're making them have to defend. Outside, ball. No oh, good on that one. Rockets with some nice D. And it's Bradley with the ball for Miami. And Adebayo throws it down. Robinson passes to Dragic. No good from outside. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And it's on a bio in the corner. Outside Brantley. Dragic taking his time here. Outside Brantley. Over Zeller. And Bradley gets it to go. The Heat lead by 11. Sweet stroke by Avery Bradley, and it's not by chance. At one point, his shot mechanics were rebuilt from scratch. Ball, the bounce pass. Shot by Zeller, no good. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. And it's in there. Achua's got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. Charlotte calls time. Butler's checked in. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Graham's checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. James Borrego had some words for his team over the break. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. We're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Graham, the pass to Zeller. Charlotte moving it around, and it's slammed in by Bridges. How about the balance and focus? 
knock Bridges around all you want, but he is determined to score. And that one falls for Bridges. Well, he leading by 12. Robinson passes to Dragic. Loads it up for Adebayo. Up high to stop the alley. Now, here's Ball. Zeller finds Hayward. Buries it from three-point range. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. For Miami, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. A strong work at that end of the floor. Ball against Dragic. And again, it's the Heat missing. Boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with the chance to win. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. Here's Butler. Banked in off the glass. And it's Ball penetrating. Zeller dishes the ball. They double him without a bio. Here's Zeller. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Precious Achua. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Heroes checked in for Duncan Robinson. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Terry Rozier's checked in for Devontae Green. The Heat leading by nine. Butler feeling it out a bit. Hayward grabs the board. Charlotte has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Ball. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Ball's got 25 points. Gorgeous reverse. Terrific body control in traffic. Timeout called the Heat. They lead by seven. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Here's Hero. And he banks in the layup. Not lacking confidence. Love seeing Tyler go up strong with this one. Rozier finds Graham. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. A heat leading by nine. Hero passes to Dragic. Now Butler, defended by Hayward. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for Miami. Their superior ball handling, one and four. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession. Oh, my, my goodness. Did you see what that a play. One, Kevin. <laughs> Unbelievable. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run. That's a floater go. None. That's good. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And out of bio. Sends it back. None against Rogier. with it and so Miami takes this one by a big margin some good moments throughout this one but they had the clear advantage down the stretch yeah I mean I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor completely under control for the vast majority of the game and whenever there was a misstep they just didn't allow it to fester and that's why they're going to walk away with the win and now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Jimmy, you have been outspoken about the need for maximum effort. Was it part of your plan to grab wins like the one we saw tonight? It wasn't a part of my plan, but whatever works, works. I think we got a, a bunch of talented guys, and that's how we forget how hard we got to play. On the road at home, this is how we got to play basketball. Jimmy, thanks for the time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah, I need more, huh? Yeah, I need more, uh, Yeah, I 
need more, huh? Yeah, I need more, uh. I need more money, huh? Stack them presidents, huh? I need more rich, uh. Tryna own teams, uh. Curtains on the ghosts, uh. I was never seen, uh.